about 10 years ago, I feel extremely content with my life, with what I have and with what I'm about to have. I'm seven weeks pregnant and I'm touching my belly. It's summer and it feels great. I'm having my afternoon nap. Suddenly I wake up and I can feel, I can feel contractions. And I had the same three months ago. I know I'm losing it. I'm losing it again. And the first time you just, you just don't know what happens to you. So you panic and you cry. But the second time you start wondering what's happening to me. What's wrong with my body? Am I ever going to have a, another child? But this time I don't cry. I know the drill. So I go to the bathroom and as I'm bleeding, I have to take a shower and I change. And then I start noticing my daughter's laugh downstairs. She's playing with my husband. So I go down and I'm touching my belly and I'm standing and I'm looking at my husband. And the pain must be so visible in my face because by one look, you just know something is wrong. And then I just have to wait the longest hour ever as he calls his parents to come and babysit for our daughter. And as they arrive, he tells them we have to go to the hospital, but he doesn't tell them anything. And they're polite, they don't ask anything, but my pain is there and I have to say it to someone. I just tell them I'm losing the baby. And then we go. And for the next two and a half hours, it's silence. Nothing, not one word. He drives me to the hospital for half hour, not one word. And as we wait in the ER for two hours, not one word, until that doctor calls up. And that doctor is handsome. He's really cute. And my mind focusing on the fact that he's really handsome. And I tell him, I think I'm having a miscarriage. And he confirms. So then I go sit down as I wait. And he tells me something about the fact that I'm going to be feeling pregnant for a while as my hormones are still there and I'll feel and I look pregnant, but I won't be. And I just cut him off. I don't want to hear that. I just don't want. I tell him it's okay. I, do, I know three months ago it happened already. I just don't want to know. Just give me my prescription. And have you ever, ever noticed the ER doctor's name? No, but I do. Why? My brain would focus on that name. And I tell him, are you from the same family? And he answers, yeah, I'm his nephew. Oh, for some odd reason, my brain goes to my friend and I tell him um, that actually my friend used to work with his uh, uncle that was the fr French minister in the healthcare. And he looks at my husband, my husband looks at him and they start laughing. And I'm like, really? I'm in pain and they start laughing. I feel stupid. I just had it enough. And so we're just leaving. Yeah, I take my prescription and we exit. But then my brain accelerates and I realize what I said was wrong. So I just turn back and then go and face him. I say, okay, I know, I know. I know. He was not at the healthcare ministry. He was at the foreign affairs. It's okay. So he smiles again and he's really cute. And he tells me, it's okay. Relax. Go get drunk with your friend. And that's it. And so the next day we go get drunk with our friends and that's how it goes. But two days later, my sister-in-law, I don't have a special bond with her actually. And she comes with a smile behind me, you know, behind the chair and looks at me and says, oh, Marilyn, you have this glow. You look beautiful. Are you pregnant? I look at her and I say, actually, I was two days ago.